Hey, what's up there, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. You know, today I'm doing a project with my son, and we're applying some sanding sealer, which is one of those things that most people forget or don't want to take the extra step of doing uh, before they apply their final finish to their projects. But this is a very important uh, part to complete your project, and so I thought I'd take a minute uh, to explain how to apply it and what can go wrong if you apply it incorrectly. And I've got two sanding sealers here in front of me. One is a Minwax, the other is a General Finishes. I generally prefer to apply General Finishes and Dural sanding sealer to my projects. However, this is a small project and I didn't want to take the time to break out the, uh, the equipment to spray. So today I'm going to use the Minwax sanding sealer. Uh, it's a water-based sealant. I'm going to apply it today with a foam uh, foam brush. You can apply it with a bristle brush. You can also spray it. But again, I'm just going to apply it with a foam brush today. Now, one of the key things to remember when you're applying this is you do not want to end up with bubbles. And unfortunately, using the foam brush generates quite a few bubbles uh, on the uh, top layer here. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, if you don't eliminate those bubbles, right, you'll end up with something like this, if you can see here. Now, in this particular project, this is a wine rack that's not going to be seen, and I can sand that down uh, so that it, uh, it goes away. But if it's on the finishing surface, that's, that's going to be problematic. So let me show you how to apply it, uh, and then... Uh, I'll walk you through here. All right, so this is what you're gonna do first. First, you're gonna open up this can, which I already did. You wanna mix this up. You don't wanna shake it like a martini or anything. Just, just make sure that you get all the solids uh, broken down and into the, uh, into the formulation here. All right, once you do that, like I said, we're gonna apply it with a foam brush. Set that off to the side, okay. You're going to dip your foam brush in here, get a good amount on, and you're going to go with, with the grain of the wood. Take your time. Don't rush. Because if you do, you'll end up with a lot of bubbles and you don't want that. Apply it even, even coats. You can use the reflection of the light source in your area where you're doing your project. You can kind of glean off to the side and you can see if you're getting an even distribution of the sanding sealer. Very important to go with the grain of the wood. Otherwise, your project will show these ugly lines that will go perpendicular to the project and it'll show, it'll look real bad on your project. So just, okay, so nice even strokes. And zoom in here so that they can see the bubbles. You'll see that there's bubbles that form. But don't worry about that right now because as you see over here they will dissipate show here it'll dissipate okay all right okay all right last step you're going to just take long strokes like this, light strokes, so that you could get an even coat all the way across. And even though there's some small bubbles on there, they'll dissipate. They'll go away. And once this is dry and... Minwax says that it'll take an hour. An hour from now, we'll come back and do the second step, which is we will sand it down 
get a smooth finish. And then the last step will be applying the top coat. All right. So that's it. Now we're going to go ahead and let this dry for an hour and then we'll come back and we'll show you what to do next. Okay, now the sanding sealer has dried and now we're going to sand it. So what I'm using to sand it is a Superflex. It's a surf prep uh, product called uh, Superflex. It's a 220 grit uh, sandpaper. Uh, and I'm going to show you real quickly how this is going to get done. But basically, we're going to do a light sanding. You'll see that there's going to be some white powder that gets generated as a result of it. Uh, we're going to clean that up with a vacuum. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, start the application of the top coat. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that here right now. Okay. So all you're going to do is you're going to lightly, lightly sand. You want to be careful not to sand too harshly uh, because then you'll get the, uh, the stain. And you don't want to do that. All you're trying to do is uh, get rid of the roughness, smooth it out and get it ready so that uh, the top coat will adhere to the, uh, to the sand seal. Okay. You can feel to the touch that it's nice and smooth. You don't have any uh, bumps or lumps or anything like that. And then you're ready for the next step, which is clean off the dust. Okay, so what I'm going to do to clean up this dust is I like to use just a vacuum cleaner with a dust brush on the end of it. I'm going to turn that on, I'm going to vacuum this up, and the surface is now then going to be ready to apply the final finish. Uh, when we're done vacuuming, you'll see that there's still going to be some white dust uh, that collects inside of the grain of the oak in this particular case, but that's nothing to worry about because when you apply the final finish, that won't be seen it'll blend right in it'll be beautiful you'll see when i'm done okay so with that let's uh let's go and get started i'll show you how to do this okay now the surface is nice and smooth it's nice and clean, free of dust, and it is ready. All right, folks, and there you have it. This uh, surface is now ready for the final application, the top coat. As I said in the beginning of the video, this is just a, a how-to apply sanding sealer. I plan on doing a second follow-up video that'll show you how to apply the top coat uh, for this surface. Uh, but if you uh, like this video, I hope that you'll subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and uh, I'll be back again. I hope to see you soon. Thank you much.